My Relief Society president, she says, have you read in the Bible dictionary the definition of grace? And I remember looking that up and, and seeing grace as the enabling power of Jesus Christ. His grace, his power was there and I hadn't been relying on it. It was just a gentle, loving reminder that I needed to rely on the Savior. It was through His grace that I was going to be able to do that, and it's only through His enabling power that I was able to continue and move forward through that experience. Oh, and for me, I, uh, I loved a mountain bike. I had an experience where I was biking up a trail and there was this uh, very fine kind of dust that was floating in front of my front tire as I'm climbing up, and I thought it was kind of fascinating the way it was billowing out there. And as I'm looking at it, I had the thought come to my mind, that dust is more obedient than you are. Wow. <laughs> and so I thought of the, my own nothingness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it kind of put me in my place to realize that the only thing that I could really put on the altar to offer up was my will. And that once I had done that, there really wasn't much more that I could say, hey, look at me, what a, you know, what a wonderful thing I did. You know, it wasn't about anything I did. It was really all I could do is just offer up my will. And then Jesus Christ did the rest. So what did I have to kind of puff myself or vaunt myself up about? Nothing. I'm, I need to be as obedient or <laughs> as the dust and, and not uh, think that I'm any that's such great thing. So it keeps you humble. Yeah, it sure does. The story of Israel that Isaiah tells is that very same story, right? I, uh, Isaiah talks about Israel wandering, going afar astray, and then bad stuff comes, and they get reduced to just a remnant of themselves, and then God in utter grace, <laughs> right? And because he's bound himself by covenant to them. Mm -hmm. comes and pulls them out of that. Like Israel's story is my story. And it's every one of our story, right? It can feel complicated because it's all these nations and all these complex geographical locations and so on and weird poetic language sometimes. But it's really that simple. Israel has wandered and God comes out and finds them and says, stop running from me. Come back. Let's do this again. I have bound myself to you.